Champion song. So welcome back to the channel fam. Hi, I'm Lita and I read cards. So I'm going to start off by saying happy the new day. Oh, my candles are running already. I just lit them. I don't think you guys can see it because of my lighting in the background. Hold on. I'm going to fix that real quick. Well, 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 seems you still can't see, but that's cool, though, because I kind of like this vibe better. Um, I just want to say happy Venus Day, guys. I hope you all are um, having a wonderful, wonderful month as we're reaching down to the end. I hope you had a wonderful week. And as we're heading into the weekend and it's Venus Day, I want to do a little quick love reading for you guys. Um, well, I'm intending on it to be quick. Doesn't mean it's really going to be quick, but we'll see. All right. Um, so today's topic is going to be three characteristics you should look for in your forever mate. Okay. It's not going to be everyone else's forever mate. Just yours. Oh, I'm going to have to move these. Hold on. We're going to have to light something else because I just fixed the table, y'all, and I can't have wax all on it. Hold on. So before I light my new candle, I just want you guys to see I had just lit the candles as I started this video and within a minute. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, let me move these out the way. And I'm gonna light this up. <clears throat> Maybe still wanna keep within our color theme because I'm going for it heart chakra fives you know just to lift my energy up a little bit i noticed that although i've been reading again my energy isn't quite the same that it used to be and i just wanted a little pick me up and hey the colors do it for me all right let's get into it so i intend for this to be a quick video all right but y'all know how that goes doesn't necessarily mean it'll be a quick video all right mm. all right let's see if i can zoom in on y'all's choices these are going to be your four choices, okay? Group one is going to be a custard. Group two is going to be corn. Group three is going to be grapes. And group four is going to be pancakes with some sort of jam on it, all right? And while you guys are um, deciding on your group, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone that subscribed to the channel as far you guys are the goats if you find yourself watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel as of yet i ask the same question almost every video y'all okay because i noticed i hadn't in the last few but it's okay because i'm back all right the question is why the fuck not it's free it's fun and we're getting facts okay um quickly uh the decks we're going to be using today are the alchemical visions tarot i will be pulling just one of these at the end just to see if I can figure out anything else about your forever partner for you. But we're going to use a proverb deck um, that I made to figure out the three characteristics that you should be looking for in your forever mate. Just because it's easier for me to read my own cards. All right, now let's zoom back now. Child, y'all, I haven't recorded with this camera in so long. Okay. Cause I finally got it back up and I was saying I really missed the way my videos used to look so I had to get this back up all right so hopefully you guys have made your choice I'm gonna move our choices over here and we're going to get started with group number one all right so group one you need some clues. You need to know what kind of qualities it is that you're looking for in a forever mate. I'm going to keep it to the positive. So if it's a negative card, it's going to let me know that they're the opposite of this. Okay. Oh, I got a card that's turned over the wrong way. Oh, probably because this card doesn't belong in here. But since it's the Ace of Wands and since it's Venus Day, I just want to tell you guys that you guys are some sexy motherfuckers. Y'all see it, right? You are a sexy mf -er, okay? Because you are, and I guess somebody in the universe said you all needed that message, and I'm glad to deliver it to you, you sexy mf -er. All right. Three characteristics of group ones forever mates, please. One, two, three. And give me a card, please. 
to give them some other information about their forever mate. This is a big deck, but I love it. All right, let's get right into it, group one. Okay, so we have Go Down in Flames. You've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> it's all fire, it, it, especially since we had that over there. It ain't over to the fat lady sings. This is interesting, guys. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say is, is, you see this, right? All fire. The first thing I want to say is, is that your forever mate is probably fiery or is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or has heavy placements in it. I'm guessing most likely a stellium or better since we have three um, fire signs here and then we have that one over there so they may not be um, a fire sun but they may be a fire moon uh, fire um, rising fire Venus fire fire Mars whatever you know just a bunch of fire okay and and another fire card five wands we have five wands twice okay so this is what I want to tell you it says go down in flames and then we also have this for our uh, which is the same card, okay? The five of wands. The first thing I want to say is, is that your partner, your forever partner, used to be the type of person that would just go all out in an argument. Just any time they were challenged or anything like that, they were just all in, okay? But by the time they become your mate, right, they have learned to not take every invitation to a fight, all right? Your forever mate is going to be a person that used to accept every invitation, but now has become wiser. Okay. Your forever mate with you've got bigger fish to fry is, um, is a person that has goals. Okay. Um, this person is, um, what, what is the word? I hate when I have these um, moments where words don't come to me, especially since I'm such a wordy person. Oh my goodness, what do you what do you call it when some? Mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry, guys. That is really bugging me because I can't think of the word, and we all use it so often for someone that has a lot of goals that's really going for um, a, a lot of different things. They want to be bigger. They want to, you know, they want to be. Um, like on their own business or um you know i'm going to get a degree by this age you know and then after that i'm going to um, work for this company and then after that i'm going to open my own company i can't think of the word but you guys i'm sure you all know the word please put it down below because your reader friend is having the brain fart of all brain farts and i bet you the word probably comes to me before the end of the reading okay but your person has a lot of drive okay your person is really going after things there are things that they want and they go after it the other characteristic that you're looking for which is very close to it right it ain't over until the fat lady sings is that this person has vision okay this person is a visionary all right and just because obstacles come in their way they're not worried about it they can see where they want to go they can see how to get there and they're going to get there and they're going to wait until they get there they're going to push through until they get there okay um but since we had this card, and I said I was going to use this card to figure out something else about your forever mate. Well, one thing I realized off top, top is that they're right-handed um, and they earn money through a lot of different sources, okay? This isn't the type of person that um, does ambitious ambitious I, I knew that word was going to come to me oh my gosh your forever partner is ambitious i have no idea why it wouldn't come to me but it's there okay but looking all this made me see ambition okay your your forever partner has a way of earning um money and opportunities through many different avenues i'll show you because we have a fish in the hand right and we got a key, we got a bell, we got a sun, we got a star, we got a bird. I mean, there are so many different ways that they're earning this prosperity. But they are very prosperous and they have a lot of haters. They have a lot of enemies. They have a lot of people trying to take money from them. They may also have um, lots of people wanting to be their lovers. 
you know, because um, they attract opportunists. Okay. All right. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm glad we got over that. Ooh. I hope you enjoyed your reading group one. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. Uh, let's move right on into group number two. Hopefully, group number two, I don't end up having a brain fart like I did in group one. Because, child, group one got me. I couldn't think of the word ambitious. It just would not come to me. And then in the middle of another card, bing, ambitious just popped on in there. Oh, stress is a killer, guys. Stress is a killer plus COVID. Woo. All right. All right. So this is going to be something extra for me to tell you about your forever mate. And I got to shuffle this real quick because I put the other cards back in here. Because so I just want to make sure that you guys have access to all the cards. Because you, your forever mate may share some of the same characteristics as another group's forever mate. What is group? Three characteristics to look for and group twos for every man. Alright, let's get there. Alright, so this is the lover group. Let's see what we got over here. Okay. Alright, so group two. Your forever mate. These are characteristics that you're looking for. It says, we see eye to eye. Your forever mate is um, more than likely going to be a friend of yours first. Or you meet them through your friend group. Um, or uh, you two work together more on a friendship level um, than a romantic level. Although this is a romantic um, connection, okay? And, and it is very romantic, but it's very slow to develop. I, I know that by this extra card over here that says the Knight of Coins, but it's very solid. It's a slow burning fire, okay? But one of the characteristics that you're looking for is that this person is a friend to you first, okay? Your forever partner looks at you like a friend, treats you, and respects you as a friend, okay? The second thing is that your forever partner is a wild card, okay? It says a dime a dozen, but it's on the Joker card, which says to me that this person is not like all the others, okay? Um, this person may even um, be so into authenticity or being unique um, that they may even be a little condescending, um, especially when talking about your friends or your exes, you know, saying like they were all the same. They were a dime a dozen. You should have been looking for something, you know, more different like you are because your forever person sees you as an authentic being as well. OK, so that is another clue, but they go together. OK. And the last clue we have is let sleeping dogs lie. All right. Um. I'm going to take this as two different things, okay? So, group two, you got a couple couple of little things to wiggle around with here. One thing is, is that I think that your forever mate comes to you on the heels of a breakup. Yes, your forever mate comes to you on... I'm going to clarify just to be sure, but I, I feel like it's on the heels of a breakup. Please clarify the five part. Okay, see, the high priestess. That's just letting me know, yeah, follow my own intuition. Um, your, yeah, your mate um, is coming on the heels of a heavy, heavy-ass breakup, okay? And this breakup was pretty bad. And people may um, try to make you feel bad. Like, oh, they just got out of a relationship. Oh, it's it's um rebound, blah, 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 blah. That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Who, who's to say um, how long it takes a person to heal? And if a person takes 10 years to fully heal from something, do you think that they really should be alone for 10 years while they're trying to totally get over something? That's just a bunch of bullshit. In my, in my mind, it's a bunch of bullshit. The other thing is, though, is that when you meet this person, even though they're on the heels of a, a big ass breakup, a breakup that really hurt them, they are really in the mindset of letting the old shit stay old shit, okay? They have turned their back, okay, from the hardship, from the heartache, okay? They're in a place where they're ready to move forward to 
the six of cups okay and the six of cups is this connection with the something that's from your past something that makes you feel comfortable and safe um and it's also known as the soulmate card okay so yeah your person is coming out of something a breakup that was very hurtful um but it's in the past and they're ready to move forward the extra card that we have given us a little more information it's still telling us the same story. Um, they're moving away from something. They're moving towards you. Um, they want to take their time. Okay. Uh, but they want to offer you something big. Uh, as you can see how big this damn uh, golden dollar is. In comparison to the writer itself. I mean like they want to offer you something that's bigger than themselves. You know. Bigger than life. Okay. And they're going to give it to you. But it takes time to deliver something that big and heavy. Okay. So, yeah. Just keep that in mind. All right. So, that's going to be the characteristics you're looking for. I hope you've enjoyed your reading group too. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below. Good and or bad. And let's move right on into group number three. So, grapey group. Group number three. Where is my water? I need to take a sip. Mm. Oh, the ginger in my water is wonderful today. Makes me think. Group three, your person's a little spicy. Spicy in personality. They probably eat things that are filled with spices. It could be that they like hot stuff, but not necessarily but but your person is definitely into the flavors of life okay you know they they like the healthy things they like the plain and ordinary because water is plain and ordinary right but they like to add a little flavor to it a little spice okay all right so let's get something extra about your partner group three that can help me to help you to decipher who they are we need three characteristics of the forever mate for group three, please. Three characteristics of the forever mate for group three, please. All right. Ooh. Oh. I told y'all they were spicy. I told y'all they were spicy. Let's turn this the right way. Let me see. The little extra here. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, I love it. I love it. You see they're coming out of a teacup. Hot. All right. Um, first of all, I want to say this is a Taurus card. Um, and I'm just going to claim it off top that your person is probably a Taurus or has a heavy, heavy, heavy Taurus placement um, for some of you. And, and these are just extras. So, and I'm going to give them to you because I see them right away. Okay. So you see that there's a person that's holding something in front of their head and they have a tie. But the way I see these, I always see these as onks. This could be someone that wears an onk. This could be someone um, that serves ISIS. This could be someone that talks about ISIS um, in particular. And very into studying rules, laws, things like that. All right, so let me give you your three um, characteristics. First of all, we have the uh, Suicide King, as you see him darting the sword through his head. King of Cups, fortune favors the bold. Um, like I said, I told you your person is probably spicy, 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 spicy. But in particular, your, your forever partner will jump into a romantic connection that they feel is going places okay period they're all in this person is not half in half out which we also see with the t um and i'll say that because i know um people use um metaphors concerning um people are uh, uh like tea bags you know when you put them in hot water you get to see who they really are you know you get to see what comes from them uh, but your person is all in 
all in. You're not going to put a tea bag half in. You're not going to pull it half. Well, some of you will dunk, but most people will just throw the tea in straight in, straight in the hot water, straight, straight in. Your person is all in, which is why we have the Suicide King, okay? But, 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 along with this characteristic of your person jumping all into um, romantic relationships, okay? I want you to know that they never reveal all that they're feeling okay and it can be very confusing for you um but just know that those that jump in so deeply um you know whereas you may enter into a relationship and you take your time to figure out where you want to go and so you're working through your emotions and exactly what they mean and how to express them the person that's all in doesn't have time to work through those emotions so they don't share all their emotions for that reason alone okay second characteristic we had this in um group one i uh, so i don't know you may want to look at group one not because i think group one may be characteristics of your forever partner but i'm assuming that you just you yourself may uh carry the characteristics of group one and it might be interesting for you to check it out okay um this person is um a very passionate person and especially when they disagree with things um your person is very opinionated um and they they are hot tempered but i see them in the light of having controlled their temper um so these are like former hotheads all right these are people that probably did all types of crazy shit before and now they've um learned their lessons and so they're a lot calmer now okay um but you still see the go down in flames so this is a person that's all in okay when it's something that's calm, they're all in, all right? And the third characteristics we have is the nine of pentacles. Good things come to those who wait. Um, this person is beautiful, but I want you to know that this person is beautiful because of the way that they care for themselves. This is a person that takes a lot of time in their appearance, okay? They work on it and they have the means to do it. Now, when people see this card and then they say prosperity and they immediately are like, oh, this person has money. Oh, this person has money. This person may not have money. This person may not even have a job or, you know, or they may not have a traditional job, but this person has the ability to track to attract the things that they want the things that they need and extras that other people just can't afford or don't have any access to or don't know anything about and this is what makes this person so attractive because when you see them they don't look like everyone else they don't wear their hair like everyone else they don't groom the way that everyone else does they may have an expensive taste in things and that may really throw you off especially if they don't have money you're like how can they afford these special skincare items or you know they drink their water in a particular way or they only eat food that's prepared fresh from fresh sources or things like that but it doesn't really matter because they attract it it's because it's who they are are on the inside who they are on the inside is very um elaborate very fancy this is the you fancy huh card okay and and once again this is someone well no this is not the same group so it's not once again okay but with the good things come to those who wait this is the type of partner that you've always wanted and i know it's not the nine of cups but those two nines go together the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles we'll have to talk about that one day how each number um has two suits that are positive and kind of go together and two suits that are kind of negative that go together and counteract the positives but this person is someone that you've always wanted so in a way you've always waited for this person okay and just a word of warning just because you've waited for this person all all along all your life you wanted someone like this and they jumped right in i know people are going to say red flag red flag red flag but i'm going to say not red flag this person knows what they want remember i told you they have exquisite taste people with exquisite taste know what they like and they know what they don't like okay so they know what they want and they know what they don't want okay when they come across something that they want they're going to get it. Okay. So they come across you. They like you. They want to get you. 
one more thing I want to say about your forever um, partner is, is they may have uh, health issues, but what you'll also notice is, is that they are very healthy. And I think I already said they were attractive. Is that going to be it? They may be, um, with the keys here, I also need to bring out to you that they may be um, very religious or very spiritual. Um, very, very methodical. They definitely have a way of doing things. They believe in a hierarchy, okay? So, that's going to conclude your reading group three. If you enjoyed this reading, please give me the thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. Let me move these out the way. They shouldn't have been here all the time. And let's move right on into group number four. Oh, all right. So group number four, Pancake Pal. I just want to tell you something that I'm feeling about your person just because of how this reading is going and how my energy has shifted. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Group four. I'm going to tell you right now, your forever person is long-winded. I started this video out thinking it was just going to be something really quick I could do for you guys. I'll give you three characteristics quickly and we'll just keep it moving. But it doesn't work yet. It doesn't anymore. It's just that the place that I'm channeling from now, nothing's ever that simple, okay? I want to tell you that... I'm about to give you three simple characteristics about your person, but it ain't that simple. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Nine of coins. This person got a lot going on with them because they're, they're a lot in a great way. In a great way. Show me something extra about group fours forever person. All right, let's do it. Three characteristics of your forever person. One. I should have flipped it because I'm going to read it anyways. Uh -huh. One. Two. Wow. We got a love triangle going on here. Third time that card came out. And, and then it came out with the Seven of Swords. Ouch. Okay, so listen. I'm going to be real with you. There's a cross watcher in my videos. <laughs> and if it's okay everybody excuse this but in particular i have to give this message i have to give this message to one of my haters that's watching my videos honey baby boo boo bear girl even though you feel in the way you feel from the depths of my soul i'm sending you love i hope you get it together Stop being a fan of a bitch you hate. You deserve better in life. Okay? Learn how to accept the gifts that the universe has given you. Alright? And keep it moving. Okay. So. Here we go. There's a cross watcher here. I'm not necessarily saying that you're the cross watcher. Because you could be just, you know, one of my viewers and you picked this group. And if you did, I just want you to know that there is someone else that wants your person. They are fucking obsessed with your person, okay? And I mean fucking obsessed to the point that they are now obsessed with you. Um, I don't necessarily know if it makes a difference. I mean, I guess it depends on your energy, all right? the star what did i tell you they watching they watching all right all right all right all right let's get into the three forever characteristics i mean the blah, 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 got me all tongue-tied and shit the three characteristics of your forever partner group number four okay the first thing is the queen of cups and it says once bitten twice shy something about your forever partner okay your forever partner is a very emotional being okay a very emotional being and they have been hurt um emotionally in a previous relationship okay um and i don't think that they come right out and tell you that. I mean, because we have twice shy here. They don't come out 
right away and tell you that but you start to pick it up you start to figure it out by the things that are being said the way that they behave and the other things that you know okay so um the characteristic is that i don't want to say they second guess themselves but let's just say they're very shy when it comes to really heavy emotional um things this will be the type of person that you can feel what's going on with them, but they don't show it. Okay. And it's because of the way they've been hurt. All right. Second characteristic. They're a hothead. They're a hothead and they fight. And your card is different. Cup Coming up in your group is different than the other ones. I just want you to know that you're forever partner is a fucking fighter you may know them as being a fighter okay and when they ready to fight they go all in they don't give a fuck about the circumstances they don't give a fuck you know who gets hurt it doesn't really matter if it's a fight they're fucking fighting to the death then that's just what it is another thing about your forever mate is that you see, that's the nail in the coffin. Your forever mate used to be a player, used to be a cheater, something along those lines, okay? And then you come along and you're the nail in the coffin, okay? Um, there is something about you that your person can't find in other people. And... Um, it catapults them to the place of not wanting other people because they can't find it in other people. So what I want to say is, is that in the beginning of your relationship, um, situationship, uh, courting phase, um, it may seem like they, they have a lot of things going on with other people because they do. Um, but once they get past the shy phase and really open up to their emotions. It's you. It's, it's you. It's just you. Um, other things I can tell you about your person is that they have a very beautiful body. Um, they're actually favored. I don't think that they're aware of the fact that they're favored. And it's actually what attracts you to them. It's like. You just know that there's something different about your person. Um, is there anything else? I have four ravens at the top. I'm not going to say that. No, not going to say that, but, oh, they may have an arm tattoo. They may have an arm tattoo or in particular, for some of you, the other person that is obsessed with your partner may have an arm in the shape of a band. You see that like a band on an arm. Could be an Aquarius also. Alright. And that's all I got for this group. So, Okay. So yes. I'm coming to you with my morning fro. But there's something else. That I realized. In this reading. As I got to the end. And I was editing. About the arm marking. Two things. Um. If the stalker is actually your stalker, and it could be if it's their stalker, and we were talking about the either a scar or a tattoo that we're looking for, I think that they both have distinguishing um, marks. I think the one that's okay, let me put it to you this way. If it's your person that you're watching the video for, I think your person has something distinguishing on the right arm and 
the other person has something distinguishing on the left arm. Um, if you're watching and the stalker is not stalking you, but stalking your person, I think it's that you have something. Hmm, no, nope, that's not it. I don't think it really matters. I don't think it really matters. I think that even still both, your person has something on the right arm because of the card. The marking is on the right arm and the other person, whether they're stalking you or stalking your person, that's exactly what it is. They have something distinguishing on the left arm or vice versa. But I, I'm really leaning towards your person has a distinguishing mark on their right arm. It could be anywhere on the arm. But it's got to be big. It can't be a little mark. It has to be like. Like at least that that big or bigger like it has to be big it has to either be like around the whole arm or up and down a major portion of the arm yeah all right all right so i hope you enjoyed this reading group for if you did please leave me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and that's going to conclude today's video i hope everyone has a wonderful wonderful venus day once again if you do leave offerings um on an altar please leave a little something for venus as we use her energy today for this reading and uh <coughs> oh goodness mm, that last reading got my throat going and everything but whatever I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.